New at 6, more than half of the estimated 6,300 homes with Chinese drywall are in Florida. Now for the first time, Wink News will pinpoint the known Chinese drywall homes here in southwest Florida. Wink News Now This Morning anchor Rob Spicker investigates the damage with a new perspective. I think by the end of this year, we'll have to make a decision. Lou Siebert's golden ears aren't what he expected, especially now with the discovery of Chinese drywall in his still partially decorated condo. Obviously, we stopped because it, it had to be torn apart and fixed. We had to get rid of the Chinese drywall one way or another. Lou lives at the Meadows of Estero, near 41 in Corkscrew. Drywall remediation is underway at a number of the units here. The dumpsters reek of sulfur. According to the property appraiser, this neighborhood is the single largest cluster of drywall infected homes in Lee County with 71. Seabird surprised it's not all 260. How could one unit get away with not having any of it when they were bringing it in here by the carloads? It's uh, just hard for me to imagine that one unit could be pristine. Owners who can prove they have Chinese drywall can have their taxes reduced to zero until the home is repaired. So Wink News analyzed the list of property tax exemptions for Lee, Collier, and Charlotte counties and found there are 1,229 single-family homes and condos just in Lee County that have no taxable value. 14 Lee County neighborhoods have more than a dozen exemptions. After the Meadows of Estero, where Lou lives, is Coral Lakes in northeast Cape Coral with 66. Third is 53 in Olympia Point at Lee and State Road 82 in Lee High Acres. The biggest number is in Charlotte County. Uh, there's just kind of a weird feeling in this Punta Gorda neighborhood. Magdalena Gardens, it's deserted like a ghost town because of Chinese drywall. There's 90 units here. All 90 owners applied for an exemption on their property taxes because of the drywall, and all 90 of them got it. There's no smell. There's, there's nothing in my unit that would make me think that it had it. Brian Grable and his family are renting one of the units. They knew the monthly payment was low because the walls were being tested for toxic materials, but says he didn't know the results were positive and the unit exempted until meeting us. A little disheartening, scary. Uh, now I would have to try to figure out what I'm going to do next. There are 223 drywall exemptions in Charlotte County overall. Besides Magdalena Gardens, all 45 units in Building 5 at Vivante are also on the list, as are 32 units in the Peace Harbor condominiums. When you break it down, the big numbers seem much smaller. In Lee County, the 1,229 exemptions are less than half a percent, 0.44, of all the single-family homes and condos, and only 2.5% of what was built during the boom. Why? Because the toxic material was only used between 2004 and 2007, and only quarter-inch residential drywall is infected. The half-inch commercial drywall is safe. In Charlotte County, the 223 exemptions are just 0.27% of the homes and condos. And in Collier, 105 exemptions equal only 0.06% of all the properties. You have to shock to me at first, okay? Seriously. Bruce Wilkinson owns one of those condos in Collier, one of 18 with exemptions at Blue Heron, the sanctuary on Radio Road. But with Bruce on the phone with the property appraiser, we discovered only one unit is infected, the other 17 will be reassessed. So now Wilkinson doubts the clean test results he got before buying. I don't know if we should go back to the developer and, or find out who he was, maybe the association or maybe a lawyer we have to go to. If we have to go through a lawyer, well, you know darn well I'm going to do that. The other clusters in Collier are at the Cedar Hammock Golf and Country Club on Davis Boulevard with 35, plus 18 at the Bristol Pines neighborhood on Collier Boulevard. There is no price tag on the amount these exemptions cost each county. The revenue lost isn't being added up because it falls within the amount of tax collections written off every year. Rob Spicker, Wink News, now. Now, these lists aren't necessarily complete since not everybody applied for that tax exemption, and the numbers will change as homes are fixed and reevaluated or sold. A buyer who knows the property is infected can't get the exemption. For more on the clusters of Chinese drywall homes in southwest Florida, log on to winknews.com. We've posted interactive maps so you can see where the affected homes 